On your drive to work this morning, you possibly hit some icy and slick road areas like I-15 through Lehigh. It was bumper to bumper there, experiencing a cluster <laughs> of crashes today. This stretch of interstate creates a unique set of circumstances for our road crews. Yeah, KUTV's Christian Cedar joining us live from Lehigh today. And Christian, what did you not tell you about this particular stretch of road between Lehigh and Salt Lake City? Yeah, this four mile stretch of the highway saw a total of seven car wrecks this morning due to icy road conditions. And I asked you, Dot, what makes this area so unique? This morning, I mean, I, I woke up and I didn't even know there was snow here. And then hearing about it and everything was crazy because it's like, can I get to work and it would be safe or like, is it not going to be safe? The commuter work for Easton Evans and other drivers along the Wasatch Front was an icy one. I did see people kind of swerving a little bit here and there, just getting to work. On I-15 near the Lehigh area, is there anything unique about that stretch of the highway? Point of the mountain, it's, uh, you do see high winds and you can see extreme weather conditions down there. And so that's an area that we pay uh, close attention to. John Gleason with UDOT explains I-15 is one of the busiest roads in the state. And due to the unusual storm Monday evening, we weren't able to uh, to treat most of the roads with uh, the brine solution that we like to lay down in in um, in advance of these winter storms because all of the rain would wash it away. Road crews have other material they can use. Gleason says that includes using salt, which the rain would have washed away as well. That rain turning to ice made the highway slick, leading to that handful of accidents. If there's a, if there's a certain area that that um, the storm hit a little bit more than others. That's where you would tend to see, um, you know, more slide offs or, or fender benders. For Evan Easton. It's kind of a scary feeling sometimes when you see those kind of things and you just don't know how to process it. UDOT's road weather alerts will remain in place through 6 p.m. tonight. Reporting live, Christian Sita, KUTV 2 News.